Unify added third-party camera support to their Protect system. Now, before you say, great, this is what I've been waiting for, I want to explain in this video how it works to make sure it is what you're actually looking for, because there's some quirkiness with the way it records. I also am going to show how it works with the AI port, which as of the time of recording here in December of 2024, the AI port has a one-to-one -one ratio of supporting cameras. So unless you plan to buy the AI port, you may want to make sure you understand what does and does not work on some of the third-party cameras. Now, I'm only doing the testing with Amcrest, but other people have tested it with some of the other cameras that are really popular popular such as Hikvision and the results are the same either way. So let's get started and talk about the details. Are you an individual or forward thinking business seeking expert assistance with network engineering, storage or virtualization projects? Maybe you're part of an internal IT team that needs to proactively manage, monitor and secure your technology. We offer comprehensive consulting services tailored to meet your specific requirements. Whether you need fully managed or co-managed IT services, our team is ready to help you. We specialize in supporting businesses that require IT administration or teams seeking an extra layer of support to enhance their operations. Our install team is ready to assist you with all of your structured cabling and Wi-Fi planning needs as well. To learn more about any of our services, head over to lawrencesystems.com, fill out the Hire Us form, and let us start crafting the perfect IT solution for you. If you want to show some extra love for our channel, Check out our swag store with shirts, hats, dust accessories, and more. We also have affiliate links down below that'll get you discounts and deals on products and services we talk about on this channel. With the ad read out of the way, let's get you back to the content that you came here for. Now, before we get to the cameras, I wanna first talk about the Unify AI port. This is a new device that Unify has released, and it's interesting because it adds features to existing Unify cameras that don't have the AI features. It also has the ability to add these features to third-party cameras, but there are some limitations. Right here in December of 2024, it is a one-to-one -one ratio, and at a price tag of $199, this may not be the most cost-effective way to add those AI enhancements to your cameras, whether they're Unify or third-party. Now, they said in the future, this will be expanded to support more than one camera, up to three Unify cameras and two non-Unify cameras. So I'm hoping for a future release where this gets better, but that is the current status of it right now. Also worth mentioning, it is limited to 4K30 max resolution, no matter which camera you attach it to. Maybe that'll change in the future as well, but that is the current status. And while the AI port does have pass-through as an option, it's not required for setting up the cameras. All right, I'm running the latest version of Protect, which is 5.185. We're going to go down here to Settings, System, scroll down to the bottom, Discover Third-Party Cameras. I have this checked. This allows the Unify Protect system to discover any camera that is on the same subnet. So the subnet of 192, 168, 132, you can see each of these cameras. And if we click Adopt, it'll prompt me for the username and password and now it's adopted that camera. The adoption happens very fast, and if you want to remove one of the adopted cameras, it works like any of the other Unify ones. You click the camera, we go to the gear icon, and we can click remove. What I want to note is it does have the ability to detect if these cameras have PTZ. For example, with this camera here, I am able to edit the PTZ. So if I wanted it to zoom in or out, I can use the keys here, and it does recognize it. But when you go to the record settings, you have the option for always or custom schedule or never, and that is it. No matter what model camera you have, and I will discard the changes to this one and pull up this Amcrest IP8M T2669E-AI model, which I've covered before, it has AI functions that I'm using with my Synology. It does not pick up any of those functions here. So you have no ability for any of the third-party cameras to have any enhanced detection features or even motion recording options. This is because Unify relies heavily on the camera to perform the logic, but they're not pulling in any of the OMVIF logic of cameras that have those features. That's just something they're not doing. Maybe there'll be a feature when they are. Now, if you pair one of the Amcrest cameras with the AI port, and you do that by going to the AI port and you click manage and you can choose any camera you want to apply it to. This will give all your AI features. So if we go here, we have all the motion event options. We have record options, face detection options. And if we go to playback and look at that particular camera, we choose the animal detection here. It's quite sure that this is an animal running around. We can also look at detections of me and it's able to do detection and determine 
that I was in the camera. So 91% accuracy on face detection, 95% detection on that it's a human. I did notice it does this misalignment, but oddly it doesn't do it if we look at another camera, for example. When I attach the AI port to the camera in my driveway, it seems to track a little bit more accurate. And once again, face detection and human detection works perfectly fine on these cameras with the AI port assigned to it. Also, I do not have the AI port assigned to this now, so the old detections still stay, the smart detections from the AI, even when you change which camera you have the AI port paired with. So while right now, while it's paired with this camera, it's adding the detections, but if it's paired with any of these, it doesn't delete the detections, it just doesn't do them going forward, and the camera goes back to its default always record, no motion detection options. Now, some of you may have noticed these cameras are in a different subnet. It won't auto discover cameras not in the same subnet. For that, you have to click the question mark up here in the top corner, the help option. Click on the try advanced option, put in the IP address of the camera, username, password, and as long as the networking is working so you can reach that camera from the protect, it will adopt those cameras. I also would like to point out that the AI port is managing this camera, but this camera is in a different subnet. So the cameras don't have to be in the same subnet as the AI port. The AI port is in the subnet right here of the protect system, but it has no problem managing and applying the cameras that are outside of it. Now, something you may find interesting as I did, that the Amcrest cameras that were adopted are also part of my Synology surveillance station network. That's why they're on a different subnet. Adopting them into the Unify didn't have any effect on them being pulled into the Synology surveillance station. They continue to work perfectly fine. You'll find a video linked down below to show that the Synology surveillance station can work with these Amcrest and the enhanced AI features. Now I'm looking forward to future versions of Protect and maybe they will add some of those features in there, but as of Protect 5185, that is not a feature they have right now. Now let me know what you think of Synology and their third-party camera support. Leave those thoughts and comments down below. Like and subscribe to see more content from the channel. Head over to my forums, forums.learnsystems.com to have a more in-depth discussion about this or other topics. And I'll see you online at whatever socials you can find me on at learnsystems.com. Thanks.